Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn on Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to part one of this year's Vlogmas-ish series of videos. You can tell it's Vlogmas because I've got my silly reindeer glasses on, although I can't, now I need proper glasses, I can't actually see anything with these on. <laughs> So I'm not sure how long they will stay on the face for, but um, as last December, I'm planning on putting up a small collection of videos throughout December. I won't have time to do a video daily. Last year I did a few days at a time, tried to keep the videos to around 15-20 minutes long each time and that seemed to work quite well so I'll take snippets of my days as we go forward and then post them every few days when I have time. So hopefully you will enjoy this little series and I will enjoy making it. I'm cheating slightly, it's the 2nd of December as I'm recording this little bit of intro but I did take some footage through my day yesterday you'll have already seen a little bit and I've got a little bit more to come so let me share my first day of December with you. you enjoyed a little selection of what I got up to yesterday. It was Friday, the 1st of December, obviously, the 1st of December, <laughs> but it was a Friday. So it was quite a busy day with being at work and everything. But today is a Saturday, yay! And I've already been making the most of the day. I've been out and had a walk and I've even had a swim. So I've got a little bit of footage of that to share with you now. So good. But you can't beat the post swim cuppa. Whew. It's a chilly one today. It's the coldest swim I've managed so far. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Minus two air temperature out here and about 10 degrees in the sea. <laughs> I can tell you it was super chilly out this morning. Um, I went out at seven o'clock for my walk, uh, finished down by the sea at eight o'clock and it was minus two degrees and I still threw myself in the sea because yes, I am that kind of person. <laughs> or at least I am these days. <laughs> no wonder I'm wrapped up warm, eh? I've got like three layers of wool on. I've got my ripple cami underneath this. I've got my simple something. I've got my aquamiri cardigan and I've got a cowl on as well. Uh, so yeah, trying to defrost. <laughs> after my little swim this morning although to be fair it's much warmer in the water James has got hopefully <laughs> James is my partner if you're new here he has got our log fire going downstairs he's stoking up the fire as we speak so I've come up here to chat to you for a little bit about what I'm planning to do today and then I will hopefully go down into the warm <laughs> 
and get on with my day. Yesterday, in yesterday's footage, you will have seen me spinning up the advent calendar. So I've got one advent calendar this year. I did a swap with my friend Lisa. We did this swap for the last two years. So this is our third year of doing it. And it's the only advent I've got this year. I haven't got a yarn advent. I haven't got a tea advent. I've gone very low key this December. I will be trying to spin up the fibres from Lisa every day. And this was the fibre from day one, which as I say, you've already seen a little bit of footage of, but this is the finished bobbin. So I'm going to wind this off and ply it up. I'm just going to wind it off into a centre pull ball and do a two ply. I was thinking about chain plying these, but if the last couple of advents have been anything to go by, we're, there'll be a mixture of different fibres, a mixture of different textures. And so I'm thinking maybe a three ply yarn might be a little too thick in some cases. So I'm gonna go for a two ply yarn and hopefully I will make one project out of all of my advent yarns at the end. I've got a couple of ideas for what I might do with them. I have already opened my today's advent package. There was some lovely tea in the package. Um, what is this one? It is a lemon tea, chocolate treat for me as well. So I shall enjoy that this afternoon. And the fiber is amazing today. <laughs> I mean yesterday's fibre was absolutely glorious but this is some Hill Radner and some mohair fleece and Lisa has dyed up the mohair herself with in this beautiful sort of luminous yellow colour neon yellow it's blowing out a little bit on the screen so I'm really looking forward to spinning this one up today and also applying yesterday's so those are two things on the to-do list I'm also this December and through into the new year, hoping to participate in Andrea Mowry's Instagram spin along. She's doing a hundred days of spindle spinning. So I'll have some spindle spinning to do later as well. But my main focus today, I think, is going to be to get cracking on my advent mittens garland. I've been working on this project all year. If you're new to the channel, I started back in January and I'm making 24 little mittens, teeny tiny little mittens, and they hang as a, an advent garland, as I've said. I've got four more of these mittens left to knit, and also I need to knit an I-cord. So my plan today is to get the I-cord knitted. So yeah, spinning, knitting, standard weekend fair for me. <laughs> and I'll share anything else of interest that comes along as the day progresses. Good morning lovelies, it is Sunday the 3rd of December. If you're a long time viewer of the channel and my vlogs, you'll know that it's scruffy Sundays in this, this household. I try not to adult on a Sunday if I can, <laughs> which includes just hanging out in my pyjamas all day and not bothering to brush my hair. So you just have to take me as you find me on Sundays. And let's be fair, most other days as well. <laughs> 
So it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I've had a nice slow start to the day, which is always good. Actually, I've been doing a little bit of video editing, so I, my plan is to try and edit a little bit each day for these vlogs, so I don't have to sit down and do it all at once. So I thought I'd check in and let you know what I managed to do yesterday. I did spin up the singles for my second day of my advent fiber calendar, or my fiber advent calendar. <laughs> So I'm about to head up into the craft attic and wind this off into a centerpole ball so that I can get this plied today. I did a little bit of knitting, but not as much as I'd hoped. I'd really wanted to get a good chunk into my advent mittens yesterday. I was hoping to knit the eye cord for hanging and one mitten, but I didn't even manage to finish the eye cord. Although I have done a fair bit of it, so let me just grab that to show you. Knitting eye cord is never the most interesting, or at least I don't find it to be so. So I need, I'm standing in front of my mantelpiece now, and I need this eye cord to be probably just slightly longer than my wingspan. And at the moment, let me try and stand back. It's probably about three quarters of my wingspan. So I've got a little bit more to do on this today. So I'm hoping to get that done and definitely start mitt number 20 of 24. Although I have a relatively busy day planned, although kind of a relaxing busy, if that makes sense. I'd like to try and get our Christmas tree up today. So that involves me rooting around in one of the cupboards in the craft attic, moving stuff around to get to the tree and the decorations and then bringing them all down and then getting things set up. So yeah, it usually takes a good couple of hours to get things organized. So that would be taking up a chunk of my day today. And of course I want to keep going with my advent spin and my 100 days of spindle spinning. So I'll share with you my advent fibre for the day. I have some really fun fibre today. Um, so I had a whole bag full of these amazingly, gloriously bright nests. And this is Hill Radna, which my friend Lisa has dyed up herself. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this spins up. This is just so bright and fun. Perfect for the grey rainy day <laughs> that we have here in South Wales today. So yeah, I've got 20 grams-ish of these to spin up today. Um, I also got in my package a lovely cup of tea, which I've already drunk. This is just the empty packet to share with you. <laughs> and a nice chocolate as well for me to have later in the day, which I'll probably need a chocolate or two to get me through the rigmarole of putting up the Christmas tree. We have an artificial tree, which we've had for the last umpteen years since we've lived here. So there's lots of branch assembly and then of course the decorating and stuff to do. <laughs> always lots of fun i always have this vision of this you know romantic day with christmas music maybe a bit of mulled wine me and james putting up the tree together but james gets very grumpy very quickly so <laughs> he's a little bit grinchy <laughs> i'm sure he won't mind me saying that about him he'll be the first to admit it so yeah it's usually just me <laughs> powering through and getting it done so yeah, that's on the agenda later. Oh, I also thought I'd chat to you a little bit about my 100 days spindle spinning project, the first project that I'm working on. I did 15-ish minutes yesterday and about half an hour the day before. And I think I mentioned, I've already mentioned that I'm trying to do the 100 days of spindle spinning, but I haven't chatted about the project that I'm working on, although I did share a couple of clips of my spindle, I think, on day one. So I'm currently working with my Enid Ashcroft Turkish spindle, which is such a lovely little spindle. Enid Ashcroft is a wonderful spindle maker here in the UK, based here in the UK. And I have been working on the spin that's on this spindle since August. I started it as my birthday spin and I'm working on some beautiful Rolags from Fellview Fibres that were a wonderful gift. I think two Christmases ago, yes, two Christmases ago from one of our lovely community members here. And the fibre is just so beautiful and it was inspired by a ginger cat. And if you've watched for a while, you know we have our own little ginger and white cat here, Newt. And so I kind of held onto these Rolags as kind of one of those precious, don't want to spin it yet, just want to admire the Rolags for a while. And I decided to start on my birthday this year as a kind of special birthday spin for me. And I've got about three and a half, I think, Rolags left to work through. So, so far in my 100 days of spindle spinning, I've managed to finish one cop and I'm a good way through the second. So only a few grams of fiber, but my aim is to spin for at least 15 minutes a day on my spindles. And if I get to do more, then perfect. 
Um, but yeah, I wanted to try and set myself that habit of at least spinning 15 minutes a day. I've got a couple of other spindle spinning projects that I hope to work on as the 100 days progress. Uh, but for now, this is my main focus. So yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you. These are so cute when they come off the spindle. I'm going to stop chatting with you and get on with my day. And as always, I shall share some snippets of anything that I think you might find fun or interesting as we go along.